I am a professor of Africana Studies by training. I got my degree um, from Temple University in African American Studies with a concentration in Women's Studies. And most of my work focuses on the politics of embodiment for black people, which means I tend to look at skin color politics or colorism, as well as hair politics. And I also do work on black racial identity. As of January 2016, I was appointed the Dan Blue Endowed Chair in Political Science. And that position really gives the College of Behavioral and Social Sciences an opportunity to bring in scholars and experts in different fields to come and enhance um, the curricular offerings as well as research opportunities for students. So I am positioned in political science and I'm teaching courses on hip hop politics. Um, I'm teaching a course on the body politic uh, soon as well as courses on beauty and hip hop feminism. So a variety of courses that just provide political science students an opportunity to be exposed uh, to other aspects that might be connected to political science. I like to call myself an image activist. Um, I have a colleague by the name of Michaela Angela Davis who came up with that term and really what that means is that we are committed to changing the image of black people in general. For me, I'm definitely committed to changing the image of black women specifically. Um, I think that we are overwhelmed with negative images of ourselves and that um, it impacts how we see ourselves, particularly for young girls who are looking for reflections of themselves and may not see it, especially a little girl who might look like me. And so a few years ago, I launched a project that's called Pretty Period. And that is a response to the often backhanded compliment that I get, which is, oh, you're pretty for a dark skinned girl which is not a compliment at all, right? That it presupposes that dark-skinned women are not pretty and that I stand as the exception. And Pretty Period as a project is really to show people visually that black beauty is the rule. And so Pretty Lips Period as an extension of Pretty Period um, came about earlier this year. There was a model who was involved in New York Fashion Week um, and she was modeling for MAC Cosmetics and MAC took a photo, a side, a side profile photo of her lips and posted that to their Instagram page and very quickly a whole bunch of racist and negative comments were being put up by folks who were basically saying all kinds of vile things about her lips, right? I mean we know the history of the ways in which certain folks talk about black people's lips. They were saying all of that and um, it bothered me. It bothered a lot of people because um, it exposed some things that are very hurtful, but then it also made me think about that sister herself. Like imagine if those were your lips, getting thousands of comments that were negative. And so I partnered with a colleague of mine who does a lot of um, visual work around lip color. And we created Pretty Lips Period, which was an opportunity for us as a community, a global community of black women to say, we got you, sis. Like, your lips are gorgeous, they're perfect. They're actually the lips that a lot of people pay money to get, and so let's celebrate you. And so I put out a call and asked women to put on, you know, a sultry shade of lipstick and to take a selfie of themselves. And they started posting on social media. And we probably got almost 10,000 posts now across social media, just women celebrating ourselves. You know, it feels good to be here. I grew up on HBCU campuses. My father is also a professor. Um, and so he taught at Xavier University in New Orleans and at Delaware State University. And so I've always enjoyed the HBCU space and environment, but I've never taught it one. And so coming to Central feels like a homecoming of sorts.